Hello, welcome back to another video on nostalgia versus reality. For many people, they got into this hobby from reading, yes. And over the past many years, I have got a ton of comments of people saying things like, comic books are meant for reading. Slabbing is stupid because you can't read it, okay? There's a lot of those kind of talk as well as a lot of collectors that are in it just to collect and read i'm sure they don't like to see the speculation the profiteering that has been going on and it irked them but the nostalgia part in many of us i included sure i used to buy things only to read that went on from 1981 to 1993, okay? I bought what I want to read. That's it. Only once, only once did I buy one extra copy. For those that are new to the channel, yes, Thor 337. The first Beta Ray Bill was the only book, the only, yes, only book that I bought multiple copies because I love it so much. The first book, the first copy that I bought and read, I love it so much that I thought I would destroy my only copy if I read it a million times. So I went out there and bought the second copy shortly after. But that's it. Everything else, one. Spawn, first issue, one. Todd McFarlane, first Spider-Man, just one. Jim Lee, X-Men 1 with multiple covers. I bought one, okay? So it was never um, something that I even considered as far as selling, flipping, all that stuff. That came after in 2008 and beyond. But for a lot of people, that nostalgia part of the hobby is still with them. And the sad reality is profiteering, speculating has always been in a hobby since the 60s. Okay, since the 60s. Long before the, per, long before the first price guide in 1970, okay? Um, you know, it, it's not, it's hard for a lot of people that enjoy, that obsess, that love this hobby so much to understand that speculation, profiteering is a big part of being human. We as a species have been speculating on many things. For those that understand the current situation, I'm shooting this video mid-March of 2020 in the right in the middle of the coronavirus shutdown and people are freaking out, hoarding and profiteering on goods like toilet tissues and all that stuff. It's not a nice thing to do. It's unsavory in many ways, especially in hardship time, but that's what humans do. And for those that don't really pay attention to what's going on with the market, the speculation market of many things. Let me just tell you about something that you may not even aware, okay? It might not be news to a lot of people. I don't know, but I have a young nephew that graduated from college uh, last summer, last May. He graduated from college last May, but the, the, the summer of his junior year in college, he actually, he, he, he lived in Boston. He went to Bentley College in Boston. But he came down here the summer of his junior year to intern with my company to beef up his resume and to stay with us here in the extra bedroom. And that's when I learned about Robinhood the stock trading software that he can trade Bitcoin. You know, he 
it's in his generation. He talk about Bitcoin, he trade Bitcoins, all that stuff. We talk about it. I told him, hey, just be careful if you know what you're doing. Just don't go big, okay? <laughs> trade small on something that volatile. But he also told me that he has been making a lot of money, thousands, since his senior year in high school on sneakers. And I'm just like, what? Sneakers? Yes, the sneakers market is huge. There are actually, I think there's even conventions. Go on YouTube, okay? In your free time, if you're bored, go on YouTube and search sneaker market and you will see all kind of videos that pop up. So he educate me on how he has been profiting, speculating, on hot sneakers for the past four years. Okay, he told me he had a, a, a methods and places where he know he can get good deals before things blow up. And then he, of course, saw them on Facebook or Instagram or eBay or wherever to make the big profit. But yeah, he made thousands flipping sneakers. I'm sure some people, some viewers out there are fully aware of what I'm talking about, but and if you search, if you search uh, the sneaker market videos, one of the big channel that have big viewer even have a series called Art of the Flip, like mine. I have, I have no idea if there's other people on YouTube that coined the phrase or the title or the name Art of the Flip. I don't own it. I just thought it was funny that I saw that. And to take credit, I didn't steal it from him. I start my Art of the Flip series before that Art of the Flip sneakers video came out. So it's all fine with me. I'm not here to like claim that, oh, he stole it from me, he copied from me, or they did. It's not a big deal. I just thought it was funny that other people had the same kind of thinking that I had as far as using the play on word. Um, but, you know, as I'm talking, you know, I will slide in a couple of uh, thumbnails that I uh, grabbed from YouTube. The, comp, the, the sneakers market was super hot for a long time, but right now in the midst of a global crisis, economic shutdown, guess what? As you can see, yeah, the sneaker market is crashing as well, okay? It's not immune. And you know, whether it's sneakers, comic books, Magic the Gathering, it's hard for some people to fathom that people, intelligent people, intelligent grown up would be speculating on things that many of us couldn't fathom. Yeah, sneakers for me, more useful in the zombie apocalypse to help me run faster, yeah? <laughs> <coughs> I'm all choked up with that. <laughs> but to see that people are willing to pay multiples of what something should be because it's more collectible, hey, that's the reality that we live in, okay? And, and so whenever, you know, I hear people complain about how much they hate the speculation market, how much annoyed they are with the speculation market, you know, it is what it is, okay? It's human, but I think for the majority of us, we do speculate on something, okay? It's, 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 it's hard, it's much harder to find someone to say, I don't speculate, I don't gamble, I don't bet on anything, I live, a, I'm a monk, okay? But for, for most of us, it is in our human nature 
to do that. We gravitate. We gravitate to opportunities to make money. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.